Rajat Kapoor and I welcome you to Lounge. Okay, so you are fresh out of college. So far it's your parents who have taken most decisions for you. And now suddenly there's a realization that now is the time when life faces you. Finding a job, looking for a place or discovering a relationship. The thing is, how are you going to handle it? Some call this quarter life crisis. So if you are one of those or are parents of those going through a similar phase, today's episode is just for you. Malini, my first guest, seemed to be caught in this quarter life crisis. Or is she really? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Malini. I'm working for the Australian Consulate as an Events Coordinator. Quarter life crisis is something that affects today's youth and has affected me to a great extent, I would say. There's a lot of confusion happening in job life, private life, be it personal, love life. And I believe that around 80% of today's youth, youth are facing this particular problem and I'm one of them. Hi Marini. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So uh, how old are you? I'm 26. You're 26. Turning 27 soon. Okay, when? September. Oh, well, that's not so soon. 26 and a half. <laughs> All right, right. So, and are you going through this so-called mid, mid uh, what, no, quarter-life crisis? Are you? Yes. Yeah? Yes. How would you define it? Uh, it's a stage wherein, uh, I'd say just after you, uh, say post-college, you just start working, hmm. and then you enter into a mode of confusion, and you suddenly find that you're thrown at, you know, something you've, you've basically moved on from a very protective environment right. to an environment where, you know, you suddenly find yourself let loose. In the real world. Yes. Yeah. But that is a uh, uh, recent term, you know, uh, 10 years back, nobody heard of a quarter life crisis as at least a phrase. You think it existed even then, but uh, the phrase is new or it's a new thing? I think uh, everything's getting more demanding. Okay. Uh, maybe 10 years back, uh, there were pressures. Maybe even, you know, maybe when I talk to my parents and things like that, and sometimes I really do feel stressed out, and I talk to my parents and I feel that, uh, you know, how did they deal with things like that? And my mother tells me that, you know, we didn't have so many choices of careers, for example, if I'm talking about a job. And then I wonder, okay, so maybe... why should that lead to a crisis? I mean, that, that should be better, won't it? It's better, but it's getting very demanding. You know what I'm trying to say? Uh, it's like, um, because there's so many choices, for example, you're all the more confused which way to go. You think everybody goes through this or uh, is it particular with you? I think everyone goes through it, but it's just that not many are vocal about it. Five years back or ten years back, did you think uh, this is where you want to be when you're 26? I don't remember what I was thinking five, ten years back <laughs> because uh, I actually uh, majored in microbiology. Microbiology? Yes. And you're now you're doing events management for... Yeah, because uh, post that I did an MBA in marketing. Okay. I landed up in a bank. My God. Yeah. All right. We asked a few people about the problems that emerged at once quarter life. This is what they had to say. What are the crises? I'm just thinking about my future, obviously, my job ka thing. Then what am I going to do the, in the future? What would be my problems related to the employment? I would be thinking about that. Which line to select? Should I go to the banking sector or to the corporate world? I would be thinking about that. So, the you know, going into the specific line would be the big confusion. The basic confusion is only about your career. I mean, as in, what are you going to do next? Probably the fear of what is going to come next. 